What is up? It's your boy Johnny Shreve. I have BB Pro, Mr. Telek. It is Nick Avocado has lost 250 daggone pounds. That's one of the biggest stories this weekend. And the video put out two steps ahead. We're gonna watch this video because 250 pounds is motivating. Absolutely. We've seen Nick Avocado. He hasn't posted like two years, or whatever. So you got this unbelievable story of a dude who's dealing with mukbangs, this and that, that and the other, puts on a ton of weight, and then boom, comes back, loses it all. Guys, for me, this is a story I'm like, this is awesome. This is what I do for a living. I literally do this all the time. I have done this a bunch of times, and it's the best thing in the world. Not only are they losing weight, but their form's actually better, the muscle mind connection, they're, they're opt their, their training's optimized, they're stronger. Not only do they have this look that they're proud of, they're healthier, they're stronger, they move better, they're more functional. So for me, this story is like, yo, let's go, Nick. Let's go. So let's watch the video real quick um, and go from there. Two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. This has been the girl. If he's not DJing and his, his new DJ name's DJ Panda, I don't know the point of having the, you know, Panda head. You go latest social experiment of my entire life. It's alluring. It's compelling. It's gripping to observe all these unwell, disoriented beings roam the internet in search of stories, ideas, rivalries, where they feel encouraged and engaged, where they involve themselves with the stories and become a product of influence. So basically what he's talking about is he did a social experiment that you guys didn't even know of. <laughs> and in that social experiment, he exposed the people's real intentions to grab stories from him, poke fun at him, make everything so dramatic, all for the likes of views and subscribers. Like what? Okay, you for two years, you did a social experiment where you purposely let people comment on your videos that you did yourself, that you got over it on your, on your own, obese, mukbang, and that. And now it's like some like, ha you don't know. I'm a mastermind, a mastermind of, of. Thirsty for distraction from time unspent, spoiling their minds, yet stimulating them at the same time. It's brilliant and it's dangerous. I feel as if I'm monitoring ants on an ant farm. One follows another, follows another. There's a video I really want to do, and this video kind of reminded me of it. It's it's on like spotting insecure people. If you knew that the influencer that you're watching, whoever the heck you watch, makes themselves look like they're this very secure person, strong, well-grounded, has their shit together, yada, 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 and you found out that they were like just completely and utterly the most insecure people I've ever met, this platform is full of it, full of it. The, the the story arc, what I was looking for with this, when I turn this thing on, Nick comes back and it's like, yo, man, because, oh, 250 pounds of loss, you know what I mean? I went on there, you know, I what I did, I can't really regret what I did, but what I did in the past, you know, mukbang, it wasn't a good influential piece that I wanted to really be a part of. I just fell into it and I fell into the trap of following the views and just, and the algorithm and, and you know, it's my fault and I, I put on the weight and I lost all the things that I love to do and I couldn't do those things anymore and I just really had it. And then I decided to make a change and I just stopped everything and I just let my old videos play because I still need to get some tr traction, some money. And I was like, you know, I'm just gonna do this and I came back 250 pounds less and here's my story. Here's how I did it. Here's how I lost the weight. This is the diet I followed. This is the training regimen that I did. Man, I even linked up with this guy and, and blah, 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 blah. And I went to a therapist and this is what this is what I did and you can do it too. That's the that's the story I'm looking for. That's that's the story that gives me goosebumps. I'm just like, oh, yes. like I love seeing like when I like because it happens. I've i I've, I've been part of that journey before with my clients. When it comes to that transformation, it is like one of the most, it's awesome. It gets me up. Anybody that can do that to me is like, it's power. And then this, you know what I mean? Right, that's, that's the story I'm looking for. But we don't get that. We get, we get panda, we get panda bear. All these little consumers. Like where's the, the half joker? All these consumers want out the kick. Hmm. You, do you know where I got my scars? It's not genuine. And here's one of the things you can tell, like, you know, when people aren't secure themselves. Here's one of the things. Right? How much more would you 
have respected or just looked up to or felt even empowered yourself if Nick came out without the panda shit and was like, yo, and just did, you know, basically what I just said a little bit ago. Like how many of you guys would have been like, if you're overweight, obese or whatever, or like on your journey or you're stuck in your journey, you're feeling like, you know, discouraged and all of a sudden this, that story comes up that Nick did. You're like, I can, oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it too, man. If Nick can do it, I'm doing it. But we get Panda. We get Panda Bear Joker. All of these lost and bored people. People consuming anything that they're told to consume. Here comes the reveal. Oh, oh, holy God. I did I didn't know it was Nick Avocado. I had no clue. I thought it was literally the Joker with a pan hat on. I didn't know it was him. Oh my God, it's him. Look at him. Look how much weight he lost. Look at you go. Shout out to Pat's day. We want to know how he got there, man. I want to know. I want to know. Because that's a, that's a sweet story. But we get robbed of this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you guys didn't know that it took me two years to get off 250 pounds. <laughs> and you guys have been just watching my old stuff, making fun of me, making stories about me, making rumors. <laughs> it was all my experiment. You little puppets. <laughs> puppets. It's like, shut up. Cap. Come on. Like, to create that story in your head, to make that your, your story, it's funny because we can all make our own story. Right, depending on how close people are to you, but you can make your own story up. You can make your own story arc. You can choose whatever kind of reality you really want. You really can. I'm talking about like in the physical world, depending on your decisions, right? And that's your decision. You're telling me this is your decision. This is how you're gonna reveal you lost 250 pounds. That this is it. This is your game plan. I'm gonna show you guys I lost 250 pounds by telling you that this is all a plan of mine. A plan, right? Like that's the story you came up with? Like that is the, that is the most insecure shit I've ever seen in my life. I kind of like made an analogy like, you know, different timelines, right? Cause I kind of believe in that. It, I, timeline's based on like, decisions, right? Every, every decision you make is gonna bring you to a different outcome, right? And Nick Avocado has a bunch of different outcomes, right? Based on a decision he makes on how he's gonna reveal that he lost 250 pounds. He's got a bunch of choices, right? And we are conscious because we, we, we decide how we're gonna say something, depending, right? We, if you know we have time doing it this, right? So he picked this story. This is how he picked the reveal of 250 pounds. It, like my logic mind is like, well, hold on a second. When you think about you know re releasing this, are you, are you thinking about like, yo, how much value is this gonna be for somebody? You know, how can we inspire and move people? Like, I'm I'm thinking of those things. Like, how can we affect someone's life? How can we make them, you know, train harder, work, you know, be smarter with their health? Like, all these things I'm looking at. All right, this is this is how we can maximize this story, right? Here's my story. Here's how we can maximize the reaction from the people in the most positive, moving way possible. Here's the route we're going to take. Because this other route is not going to be that good, right? And this route, definitely not going to do that. And, and Nick's... Nick's story arc is gonna be like, I'm gonna release that. I fooled you guys. I did this on purpose. All of this was a big hoax on you guys. Gotcha. I would actually knew I could put on 250 pounds and ruin my health for a few years. And I knew I could get it right off. It took me nothing. All that was a massive act to see if you guys were being controlled by the matrix or however you want to put it or something like that. Shut up. Shut up. Right? I mean, the only thing we really could get out of this is like, look, guys, here's the thing. And, 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 and you, can, you can say like, yo, man, like, because look, I look at him like, okay, cool. So when I get people down like this, there's, there's a change in musculature as well, like a massive change, right? That is like my thing. You, you have to, we have to get stronger. We have to be healthier. We have to put on our muscle. That all equals a longer life and living. That's just fact. I've been saying this for years. Train, you know, optimize your training. Optimize your, your nutrition, literally just those two things, just with cardio, you're good. I've been saying it for years. Years. Right? Here's why I can look at this as a positive. However you got there, you it was it was enough for you to get there. I know if you get like gastric surgery or whatever, or any kind of extreme anything, you still have to lose a considerable amount of weight on your own anyway. 
Like, that's just how it goes. And the fact that he looks like that, he definitely did something right. So the fact that he got down there is amazing. That's awesome. But that's what's important. So however he got there, great. But if he got there, that way even better. But this better story would be like, that's how he got there or whatever it is. But we don't get that. We get this bullshit. I'm the villain. You are the villain. Because I beat myself one. And you will continue to consume these stories about me year after year. It's just, it's, it's so like, I'm not, I'm not buying it, buddy. Like no one's, nobody's buying this. Like nobody. The only thing we can be like is, yo man, you lost weight. Good shit. That's awesome, bro. I'm glad you did it. How you, how you releasing this is dumb. Good for you. I'm going to give you praise. I'm going to give credit credits due. You lost some weight. Good job, buddy. But now you're a dill. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry. I'm just going gonna to be real. This is how I feel all the time when I watch a lot of guys on YouTube. And I keep my mouth closed sometimes because I'm like, man, these guys, are, these guys are so insecure. It's ridiculous. And you can see it. And it's like, instead of us getting this awesome story about, like, you know, just a redemption and health, we get, like, we get, we get Panda Joker mukbang that's what we get there's so many youtubers out there that are putting out so much quality stuff with high value the highest of the highest value and in two days this thing gets 23 million views and i can guarantee you half the people who watch this video only saw half of the video not even the first the first act and they're like, oh man, you can still, you can lose the fat and I guess we can put it back on. This will be the biggest yo-yo dieting experiment. That's what this is. It sucks. Guys, as, as much as I love training, nutrition and stuff, I also get so sick and tired of seeing bullshit. And I do have to call out the bullshit. Until next time, guys, you know how it is. Iron Shepherds, Iron Progressive Overload Your Life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing.